you guys, look what came. The new kit from Purpose Driven Essentials. Remember, it's the newer company that's a subscription-based faith development box. They have a family box that comes with board games and things like that. Then they call this their mini kit which is aimed for one person to do devotionals. And um, a lot of it's geared towards Bible art journaling. And they put in new on the market stuff. This isn't like last year's leftovers kind of thing. So I was really impressed with their first box. They just sent me their second box. Um, if you are liking what you're seeing, get it um, on their website and make sure you become a part of their subscription service um, so that you don't miss out on a box because a lot of times they sell out um, and they only take orders to a certain point. So Purpose Driven Essentials is in the show notes um, below so you can check that out and you can go see what is up with them. So here is the new kit. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you get a note and this talks about, it says, um, let's color your packing list with all the goodies in this month's haul. So you've got a 365 day devotional book. Oh, I love that. Um, tea, oh fun, a hot cup of tea. Um, they usually throw in like a snack or something, which is really fun. Last month was fudge, now we've got tea. Um, oh, casting crown CD, oh this is exciting. Okay, um, a devotional that uh, Melissa wrote. I really like her heart. Um, I've been digging into her writings and following her on Instagram. She's created to inspire joy.com and she writes the devotionals. They're really good. And this one has, um, stuff from illustrated faiths, new all people, all nations packs and simple stories, faith cardstock stickers. So let's take a look at those. She's also included a pink neo color crayon. Those must've been a huge hit last month. <laughs> um, because she's included them again this month. Oh, that's a pretty color. I like that. Oh, rose. Okay. Um, and then um, a free bonus gift. She included some Simple Stories Easter stickers. Oh, that's fun. So just as an extra this month, she tossed in some stickers that she must have had left over. Um, let's get with our creative Bible study. This is just information on what they do. This is a cute little business card. This is how to connect with the person who writes their devotionals and with the company itself. Okay, so here, oh, it's loose leaf tea, how fancy. It's called Cascade Meadows from the Pacific Northwest. Hey, we have mint fields right here where I live. I wonder if this mint, um, I love peppermint, so this is gonna be great. Um, ooh, it has all of my favorites in it, like citrus and mints. Ooh, that'll be good. Let me smell it. Let's open it and smell it. Not that you guys have smell-o-vision, but I can maybe describe it for you. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is amazing. I wonder if this is mint made from around here. Um, so yeah, peppermints and um, lemon. Oh, okay, I'm excited about that. That's super fun. And I don't usually buy loose leaf tea, so that'll be kind of fun to play with. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Casting crowns, let's start there, because I love casting crowns. I do not have this CD. I will be putting it in in about 10 seconds after I'm done with this video. <laughs> and look at this beautiful book. God heart or God hears God hearts her. Well, he hearts you too, but he hears you also. Um, so 365 devotionals written by different women. Oh, on hope, compassion, trudging on, the romance, fake family. First response, Father is with me. This is really cool. This is another way to do Bible journaling too. There are no margins, but if you use stuff that's transparent or you put tip-ins, you can totally do Bible journaling in a devotional. In fact, um, it's what I'm working through. That concept is the um, concept of this book actually, but it gives you place places to do your art. So um, you can always work in a devotional book, even when it looks like it's not. You can paint on top of this and um, make a little book that's kind of expresses your heart as you listen to the ideas of God hearing you. I love that. Okay, this is really cool. And it's beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna dig into that. But then they write their own too. Ooh, they got fancier this month. I have a sticker that's trying to escape. 
Um, they've got a vellum cover. Ooh, vellum. Okay, remember how I said you can use all parts of uh, these kits? <laughs> you can use this vellum in your Bible. I'll have to do that so that you can see how you can use vellum because we haven't used that yet here on our channel. So they've got the content, the welcome to the April kit, um, habit number one, stop. Oh, and look on the back, there's beautiful cardstock. Oh, look at, there's prints on the back of all these. <gasps> you guys, look at this. Oh, they stepped up their game and then they included some extras where you could do, you could do your Bible journaling in here now. Oh, guys, this is kind of a game changer update. This makes a whole book out of their devotional. Plus, they've added in beautiful papers that you can either tear out and use in your Bible or use them right in here. Habit number two is reading. This must be about different um, habits. Usually they have six or seven devotionals, I think. Let's see how many they have. Oh, look at these papers. Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> Are you seeing this? Um, oh, this is so cool. Have it three. Listen. Um, speak up, Lord. Stop reading. Listen. Oh, these are. This is all still about listen. Have it four. Speak. With all these beautiful papers. Oh, I like this new devotional setup. This is super fun. Full of the Holy Spirit. More, look at these old fashioned papers. We share the good news. Oh, look at that. Live, love, repeat, that's cute. And then, um, oh, this is the last one, but it teaches you about when you're sharing Christ, how to share um, so that you don't end up sounding judgmental or like you're just preaching at someone or maybe it comes out in an unkind way, or maybe it's not even biblical. This is cool. I can't wait to dig into this. So far, I've really liked the way Melissa writes. Um, her Melissa is her name, right? I know her <laughs> um, by her Instagram name, just like people know me as Modern Mess Princess. Um, I think I said Melissa, right? Yeah, Melissa, created to inspire joy. Yeah, I've really liked her heart. Um, and so I'm guessing this will be on, on par too, on par also. Like, not the number two. <laughs> and then we've got the pink Neo Color crayon. And we've got fun stickers. Those look like those are the Simple Story stickers, I think. Or are those from the All Nations? I'm not sure, but they match. I'm not sure what's all included in the All Nations kit because I don't have it. So this is really cool, the ephemera pack. Here's a little bonus, Happy Easter stickers. Oh, there's where my springtime sticker jumped from and then oh these are simple stories I know these these are simple stories I love simple story stickers <gasps> those are so cute look at the light bulbs <laughs> that's so cute and here's another one very very fun okay and then the ephemera pack this is really nice you guys so here you go um this is really good stuff I love I love this. I love these colors. If you've um, not seen an unboxing of the All People, All Nations, I believe Lindsay Decor here on YouTube has one. Cause yes, yeah, she got the she has um, almost all of the products from the All People, All Nations. So um, if this kit is sold out, but you still want the ephemera from um, or or you want to add to this because you got this kit but you want some more stickers or some more tape or some washi tape that goes with it, um, you can always get that at dayspring.com and there's a link in the show notes for that too. And uh, this is just, this is gonna be a kit that they have that's all year round, all people, all nations. Um, and it's not really, it's not like the Illustrated Faith monthly kits. It's a big set. They have two sets out this year. That are new this one and the one that was in this kit last month which is the fruit of the spirit i love these colors the pinks and blues and greens this is just like beachy to me and anything beachy gets my attention real fast hey girl hey <laughs> hey you guys well this is super fun these are beautiful pieces of ephemera okay so if you're wondering how am i going to do 
all this devotional stuff in one month because I did get the illustrated faith kit this month, the 100 Days of Bible Promises, and this was sent to me um, so kindly and generously from Purpose Driven Essentials, and it comes with its own devotional, and this devotional, here's how it works in my house. This will be, I will be working with all of these probably at the same time. What I'll probably do is sit down and read a devotional from here probably once a week since there aren't as many devotionals as I'm going through um, the 100 days of Bible promises if I feel like I just want to dig in some more that's what a book like this is for or later in the day like leave this one uh, somewhere in your home like in your living room next to your couch if you just need like a pick-me-up that afternoon um, or before you go to bed um, Putting God's word and thoughts in your heart and your mind before you go to bed is a great idea. So actually, I'll probably leave this by my bed and read this before I go to bed. And then work on this and this. Um, and then instead of actually working through the Illustrated Faith Kit as a kit, um, I'm using it a lot in here. Um, and then some in my Bible too. So that's where all this stuff is just going to get combined either into here or into my Bible this month. And it's all just going to be a conglomeration. And if God works things out like he usually does, I bet when I pull this open that one, uh, that whatever page I'm on in here corresponds with whatever I'm on in here, just like as it kind of sings to my heart. So, um, so that's how I'm going to be working through all of that. Um, so you got to, be wise with what kits you get and every company has a different flavor if you have specific questions please feel free to put messages um, down in the YouTube comments I get to them I read them all um, and I can answer questions on um, different companies that you've seen me try out and ones that I really like um, ones where like why did I buy them from this okay I can't talk why like do I skip a month with Illustrated Faith and then go over to buy the well for God and why did I agree to do this one versus uh, buying some other product or being given some other product so there's just um, there's a lot to consider because there's a lot of really great companies on the market with a lot of great people um, who are behind them I want to do them all you guys probably do too but we don't have time we don't have money to do all of it so we have to be good stewards so we could have a conversation about that too if you um, want to hear more on my thoughts on that uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like this kit give it a thumbs up and go check out purpose driven essentials and um, you you can get on their list to get a kit for next month so and it's always kind of a surprise so you have to be up for surprises if you want to know exactly what you're getting um a monthly subscription type box is not your thing but if you like a surprise i do because otherwise i start picking out stuff that's kind of all in my normal uh, rut of things I enjoy which isn't bad but when I get kits that bring in a surprise element it just pushes my creativity that much more and it makes me kind of engage with it instead of just going oh pretty oh pretty oh pretty I just really I gotta dig in and engage with it because I haven't planned out how to use it so those are a few of my thoughts I hope you guys are having a great day I love that you're here on this channel guys we are getting close to 1,000 subscribers and um, so keep sharing with your friends once we get to a thousand I'll do another giveaway it that will have to be a really really fun one and um, I just look forward to continuing this journey with you and um, I'll see you guys again soon bye